This is how the world is gearing up for the COVID-19 vaccines. Manufacturing millions of glass vials, ramping up production of fridges and freezers, and working out logistics of shipping. All in an effort to safely deliver the vaccines from drug makers to as many people as possible. German-based company Schott has been manufacturing glass for more than a century. Now it's crunch time. 75% of all COVID vaccine trials around the world are using their vials. To meet the growing demand, their factories are running 24-7. By the end of next year, they expect to produce enough vials to store 2 billion doses. It is certainly going to be a stretch, but we think the goal is achievable. Producing these vials is something that companies like Schott, but also other, do on a daily basis, million-fold. Schott uses a special glass called borosilicate, which is heat resistant, and that's crucial because the vaccines need to stay cool. Moderna's has to be stored in a normal fridge for a month, after that it needs to be kept at colder temperatures. Pfizer's has to be kept at minus 94 Fahrenheit, that's twice as cold as the North Pole. For Binder, a German family-owned freezer company, it's an opportunity like no other. Their freezers can store more than 100,000 doses. Jetzt kommen wir über, dass wir die ganze Welt auf einmal impfen müssen. Das ist ja eine Situation, die gab es in der Form ja auch noch nie. Und dass es dann ausgerechnet dieser ähm, Impfstoff auch noch diese tiefen Temperaturen benötigt, das ist für uns natürlich ein Glücksfall. A spokesperson told Insider that in recent weeks, Binder's production has increased by about 200 percent. Its employees are working around the clock, and they had to hire additional workers to meet demand. One of their clients is BioNTech, a company that has partnered on Pfizer's vaccine that has been 95% effective in trials, but is still awaiting FDA approval. Once they receive the green light, Pfizer plans to ship vaccines in special dry ice briefcases that can stay cool for up to 15 days. These boxes will be placed on 24 trucks a day from Pfizer's hubs in Michigan and Belgium, and then loaded on planes. Meanwhile, companies like DHL are scrambling to prepare ultra-cold shipping and storage facilities. In the coming days, this system will be tested when Pfizer starts sending about 800,000 vaccines to the UK, the first country to approve it. Pfizer's vaccine will be taken to hospitals like this one in Los Angeles, with ultra-cold freezers. And here's a potential problem. At least six states in the US, including California and New Mexico, have said they expect challenges due to a limited supply of specialist freezers, which can cost as much as $15,000 each. On the other hand, Moderna's vaccine has an advantage. It can be stored in a regular fridge for a month, but it can cost up to $17 more per dose than Pfizer's. Moderna is also seeking FDA approval. The vaccine has proven 94% effective in recent trials. While drug makers in the US are still figuring out logistics, around a million people have reportedly already been injected in China with experimental shots through an emergency program. That has alarmed experts, as clinical studies have supposedly not been completed and the Chinese government hasn't released much data on the efficacy of its vaccine.